founder and CEO of Candy. Hi, this is Yosuke from Yoyo Holdings. So let me start my presentation. Please imagine why watching TV is free. So everybody can enjoy many TV programs for free, right? How about the radio? Yes, this thing radio is also completely free. But how about the internet? Especially mobile internet usage. As you know, to connect mobile internet, we should pay mobile usage fee. But of course I know that you, you may be able to pay it, but in emerging countries, it's very expensive to pay. These days, in Southeast Asia, so it, there are so, it, it, it's already so many people have smartphones. It's addictive to use smartphone. Today, I will share the common smartphone user in Manila. John is an office worker in Manila. He loves internet so much using Facebook, shopping, and playing games. And of course, he loves chat with his friends all the time, like you. But, suddenly offline. <laughs> Why? It's already out of airtime. It's a very big and common problem for prepared phone users in emerging countries. Already, uh, 90% of users are using prepaid phone in emerging countries. So, how do you make him online more? This is the reason why we invent airtime reward platform, Candy. This is the easiest way to earn free airtime for free. Just look. Candy users can find many missions on their my page. That's like uh, app download, uh, in, uh, register web service, or answer the survey exam. So this user choose which app as download mission. And then what happened? Let's start which app. That's all. This user receive airtime for free just on the app download. Very simple, right? So this service is completely free and real-time and off-chart studies. Are you offline? How do you scan it? It's also online service, right? Don't worry, guys. We, of course, provide SMS-based mission, and everybody can complete mission. Everybody, anywhere, anytime, and any device also. Candy got already 300,000 users, users, and it grows rapidly. And we never put any ad, we never put any promotion or referral user at Register Candy. We are launched uh, in three countries: in Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, and our service is uh, more than uh, 100 countries. Our business model is also very simple. The client plays app and the user when the user register or download app, the performance-based revenue has happened. Since last July, already 130,000 users completed 550,000 missions and they earned already more than 60,000 US dollars. It's a very small but we believe that we can expand more in the near future. Because the market size in smartphone ads will grow up more than 200 million US dollars, just on the affiliate reward ads in total in 2016. We also have many clients and web partners, and they provide us many missions to us, everything. We are very strong team about this service, so me and uh, my co-founder Yoshiki are both from DNA, a Japanese largest mobile company, and have experience about smartphone advertising business. 
Founder is also have a, a lot of experience uh, growing global business. And Taka also has a Japanese and Filipino advertisement business more than 60 years. We are an international team about the mobile marketing professional. In addition, just a few weeks ago, we got 1.3 million US dollars from Green Ventures, Cybernet Ventures, and Incubate Fund. It means that we will start candy in other countries soon and we've developed the amazing product next month. We provide free mobile internet for everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yosuke. And now, judges, questions, please. Yes, uh, maybe I'll start uh, by saying that I will need to abstain from the vote, unfortunately, because uh, we just invested in, uh, in Yo-Yo. So I won't say that they're the best, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Can you talk a bit about how you had the idea and what's your motivation in building this into like a big business? Uh, so at first I would like to save the poor person by using mobile technology, just like uh, uh, Grammy Bank. So as you know, the in the uh, emerging country, so there are so many uh, poverty. Uh, uh, it's a very big problem. It's a poverty we focus on, and uh, so we believe that the mobile technology has a big possibility to, to change their life. So I mean, the airtime uh, is is all, almost the currency in this in their life. This is the reason we share the airtime for free to use that. And then what happened? Everybody can connect inter more internet, and then they can find a job or education or like that. So it grows uh, many uh, opportunity for them. This is my uh, passion. Does the revenue model transfer across different countries that you're going after the same performance-based ad monetization? Uh, as well as the specifics of um, how we negotiate with the partners, um, partner management essentially, uh, they differ. But as of now, the model is the same. Could you uh, explain a little bit more about the missions or micro tasks? I'm not sure we understood that from the pitch. Right. So they come in a in, in a variety of uh, I mean, in the, the various micro tasks that we offer. Um, it can range from uh, surveys uh, that people have to complete or app downloads um, and. Behind each one of these missions is a partner company that is providing us with this mission. But, so those missions are helping perform some tasks that you can monetize separately, or these are tasks where people are signing up for useless subscriptions that they really don't want? There are probably both of them. Um, uh, we try our best not to provide the latter, but I would imagine uh, there is a mix, um, just to be very realistic. Um, uh, on the brighter side of things, uh, there are a lot of missions out there that actually um, uh, require them to complete tasks that are of some use to a company. Um, these are the essentially crowdsourced micro tasks. So you would say sort of 50-50 between maybe lead gen related profiling versus, you know, I don't know, um, mechanical turf sort of service. Sort of yeah. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Candy. <laughs> and next up, May I welcome up on stage Guy Vincent, co-founder and CEO of Publishizer. <laughs> 